Hulu Bulu! Today we are making Christmas cards. Yay! And there's only one thing better than receiving a Christmas card or a holiday card, and that would be receiving a homemade Christmas card, holiday card. So yeah, we had decided we decided to make it on our own. I'm gonna send mine to a friend, and my sister talked about send, uh, giving it. Well, you know, she might as well give it because she visits fairly often. But uh, giving it to our mom, so that's really nice of her. I think my mom will really appreciate it. My sister is making this sort of, well, Christmas elf or Santa. I'm not sure which one. Maybe just something in the middle of that and she's using different shapes to well make the character and I really admire that she's doing it like this because you know she's not the most I don't want to say artistic but you know traditionally artistic person like she doesn't oh my god I was about to say draw well that's really mean that's not what I mean at all she just she just draws differently than other people. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is turning into a roast, but it wasn't on purpose. I have made a lot of Christmas cards throughout time. I actually give my mother a Christmas card every year. Um, so this is different giving it to my friend. But I decided that this was for my friend because I have already made one that's like a pop-out Christmas tree for my mother. And I just made it by, you know, making it like a fan, just folding it over the piece, so it would pop out. And yeah, I've already made something so similar to that to my mom. Because I've been making it for so long, I don't feel like there's a lot of stuff left to do. So I'm often very uninspired, at least by now. Um, but I have an idea for a card I want to make my mom, so yeah, that's good. And we'll see if my sister will receive one too. <laughs> Here I am just putting in some stars with a silver pen. And I really like that since this is quite a dark piece of paper or, you know, cardboard. Not cardboard, cardstock. Uh, cardstock paper. It's really nice that you can use these special pens to bring some light into the the piece and I'm trying to make it look like it's sort of snowing, it's sort of stars, I don't know, stuff like that. Um, and I wanted to make a star out of the the golden tin tinsel thingy we had, um, but I didn't think <laughs> it looked quite right. So well, yeah, it didn't work out, but at least I inspired my sister to use it on the top and bottom of her masterpiece. I think it looks really cool in hers. So that's good, at least. Have you received any cards, holiday cards? Or have you sent any? Are you going to send any? I'm really, really interested to know. I think it's such a nice gesture just to show people that you think about them. I don't really usually send to people, I just give one to my mom and to my sister. But, you know, this is for a friend I care about. So, maybe it's just because I don't have enough friends I care about. <laughs> and since I'm really a big keeper of, of things like this, so I always write the year it was made or sent or whatever on, well, somewhere on the card, because I think that's pretty important if you, like me, are a keeper of stuff like that. And you know, I keep literally everything I receive, even if it's just like from a gift where it said to me from this person, I will keep it. And here they are, I think they look so adorable. Yes, I drew the, the face on the elf, or at least part of it, just to help my sister out. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye!